In this lecture, we will learn how to identify existing mates, also how we can delete or modify them. We will use this assembly which we created in an earlier lecture. You can also download all the parts and the assembly file from the download section. There are two ways to identify existing mates. The first one is from the design tree and the second is from the part in the canvas. So let's start with the first. At the bottom of the design tree, you will see mates. If you expand mates, you will be able to see all the existing mates in this assembly. If you hover the mouse over any of the mates, you will be able to see the parts which the mate involve. So this parallel mate here involve the triangle and the block. This coincident here also involve the triangle and the block. And if you look at the canvas, you will be able to see a visual representation of where that coincident relation is. This coincident relation here also involve the triangular shape and the block. If I want to delete this relation, I can right click on it and then here there is an option for delete. If you want to edit that relation, you can go to the top and you will be able to see an option for editing this mate. So let's go ahead and try deleting it. So if I click delete, I am going to get a confirmation message. I click yes and now that mate was deleted. So if I go ahead and click on this rectangular shape and I move it, you'll be able to see that we can move it up and down because that coincident relation was deleted. Let's go ahead and explore the second method in which we can find out existing relations. So if I go to the canvas and then right click in this rectangular shape, in the top you will see this icon which says view mates. If you click on it, you will get a window showing all the mates that relate to the part we selected. So we can see that there is a perpendicular relation, there is a parallel relation, and there is a coincident relation. Let's say I want to delete this coincident relation. I can right click and select delete. Again, you're going to get the same confirmation message. You can click OK and that relation is gone. Another option you might be interested in, other than deleting a relation, is to suppress that relation. So let's say I have this parallel relation over here, and I just want to suppress it. I don't want to delete it, I just want to make it inactive. So if I right click, you're going to see at the top, there is an option that says suppress. If you click on it, the effect of the parallel relation no longer applies. So now for this part, we only have one active relation, which is perpendicular. Let's try out editing that relation. So if I right click on this relation, go to the top and click the option edit feature, you will get this window on the left, which will enable you to edit that existing relation. So if I want to change it from perpendicular to parallel, I can go ahead and click on parallel and you will notice that the orientation of that triangular shape has switched in the canvas. If I click back on perpendicular, you will notice it changes again. Let's say I want to change it to parallel, so I'm going to change it to parallel and then click OK. Now I can close this window and my model goes back to the normal colors.